Blizzard-like conditions slammed parts of the UP last night and much of earlier today. TV6's Michael Sobeck shows us how local businesses are handling the weather, plus safety tips from the police. As blizzard conditions continued to hit parts of the UP, many lives slowed down for the day. Marquette City Police Sergeant Seth Bjorn advises people to stay off the roads unless absolutely necessary. Bjorn says if you need to drive, you should increase your following distance between cars and slow down when trying to turn. Most of the people, I think, are staying in that don't need to go out today. It being a weekend, not, you know, most people aren't having to go to work today. So um, we've noticed that on the roadway that it's pretty much just us and the plow truck drivers out there. Um, so we appreciate that. While the roads were mostly empty, Upers didn't let the snow stop them. The Ordock Brewery and other Marquette businesses chose to stay open. Ordock Brewery events manager says the brewery was determined to be open for the community. We all like to be outside. A lot of us will walk in or ski in or bike in, and so we'll find a way, you know? We want to pour some beers, we want to hang out, and so far I've had people all day, so it's been kind of good. Many people were hiking the shoreline to see the powerful waves of the lake or biking through downtown. Marquette County resident Joe Pelto says he is excited to see the snow finally arrive and hopes everyone else is too. Just absolutely thrilled for this, and the Noke trail work will be probably firing up and heading full force and yeah hopefully everyone else all the ice climbers are happy and yeah it's uh I don't know it's it feels normal now some youpers even took the opportunity for outdoor cardio we got we got some we got some crazy youpers out here running around with their shoots off that's one way to wake up in the morning Bjorn says if you do decide to enjoy the winter weather you should plan ahead Michael Sobeck TV6 News Marquette thanks Mike